Hi, it's Glenn again with another video. This time we're looking at the Hick Vision NVR and how to extract footage from it. So the first thing you've got to do is to get yourself one of these uh, little USB sticks, uh, four gigs probably enough, depending on how much you're going to try and extract from the NVR. Uh, this gets inserted into the front of the NVR. Now we're running version 4.0 here. Uh, on previous versions you had to format the drive. Uh, that seems to not be the case anymore. Um, what I've done here is I've right clicked on the screen to bring up my uh, NVR 4.0 interface here. It's currently on live view. I'm going to go across to playback and in playback um, I'm greeted with this little uh, calendar here. We can see anywhere with the little blue triangle in the corner is where we've got recordings uh, that have taken place. So what we need to do is first of all select the camera. In this case I'm going to use the number plate recognition camera we've got. And straight away it brings up a timeline here. Now the default hourly uh, or default time uh, parameter is set to one day so if this is selected you will see a full 24 hour clock here uh, we obviously want to filter that down to the time period that we're trying to capture the event from so I've roughly selected a, a time around 6.30 here but to zoom in on that a little bit closer so I can capture the event I'm looking for I'm going to bring this down to about a one hour range Okay, it's 20 minutes, gone too far, back to one hour. And I can now see that these events have been um, you know, populated here on the timeline. So in order to get this off the NVR and onto this USB, I've got to click onto this little uh, scissor icon, which is for the clip. When I do this, um, it brings up these little brackets here, which is showing me um, you know, if I exported it now, it would be literally exporting all the clips here between these two brackets. Now, in this case, I'm just looking to take off a small clip, so I'm going to grab one end of it, bring it to there, and bring the other side to the end of the clip. And that is all I'm trying to ex uh, extract at this point. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. The other way is to come down here to the time and you can literally put a date, put the exact time, exact finish date and exact finish time and hit OK and then you can export that. Um, but for the sake of this video I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. Alright, so I've got my USB already in the front of the NVR and now that I have my clip uh, selected here I'm going to export the clip. So that's the little save icon here. Click on that. Now we have a choice between video and log and player video and log. The player video and log gives them, uh, gives whoever puts the USB a little uh, player to be able to play back the actual file itself in case they don't have any um, media playback software on their computer. Um, from what I've seen, this only works on Windows machines, so if you've got a Mac, um, that's pretty much useless doing it. Okay, so. In this case, we've got the right software, so I'm just going to go for video and log. I hit OK, and now what it's going to do is it's going to look for a USB drive that's been inserted, and you can see it's found one here. Okay, so if I had another one, I'd have a drop down of the various USBs I could choose. And as I said before, you did have to format these drives. In this uh, version 4.0, we don't have to do that anymore. So what I've done is I have created a new folder and called it CCTV just to keep things nice and simple and I've already exported a couple of things here but let's just say I'm going to create another folder here and call it uh, CCTV to hit OK on that one. OK, double click in there and that's where this file is going to be exported to. Now I've got the choice of MP4 and AVI. Um, let's go to MP4, we can see how much space I've got on the disk, and we hit OK. And it is as simple as that, we can see the little uh, blue tick there to indicate that that has all happened. And so that little clip has been exported onto the USB. Alright, I hope that helps you to 
do what you're trying to do and get your clips off your NVR. If you need any further assistance, feel free to reach out to us in the office. Uh, we will be posting more videos on a daily basis. Uh, so yeah, please subscribe to these videos and click the notification bell to get notified when the next one comes out. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.